Welcome to Live True Yoga Online. My name is Veronica, and I'm here with my son Bjorn. We're going to be teaching the Inner Warrior class, so thank you for joining us. All right, we're going to start out in child's pose. So you want to make sure you take your knees wide, toes together at the back, extending through the arms, and then resting the head comfortably. So the hips can be a little lifted, uh, but just softening through the hips, through the heels. We start out in a grounding practice here, taking a moment to close the eyes. So letting go of your day, your week, feeling the arms relaxing, clearing out the mind, getting ready for your practice. So connecting into your inner warrior is connecting into your inner strength, but also inner strength with compassion. So listening to your body. I'm going to start out by making that connection to your breath. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. Expand through the lungs. And an open mouth exhale. Relaxing through the shoulders. One more time. Deep inhale through the nose. And an open mouth exhale. I'm going to start out with a side body stretch. So walking the palms over to the left. So walk the palms over to the left and move the hips over to the right. All right, come back to center. Tabletop. <laughs> so we'll take it into our tabletop, starting off with the cat and cow pose. So making sure that your palms are spread wide, so spreading the fingers wide. They're not zipping up or spreading out the fingers wide. And then the knees are about hip distance apart. Good. Now we're bringing the hips over the heels, hips over the knees. There we go. Now we'll inhale, shine the heart, soften the belly, lift the tailbone, cow pose. So cow pose, lift the chest, lift the gaze, looking up. Inhale. On the exhale, cat pose. So rounding out. Shoulder blades to the sky, press up, press into my hands. There you go. Inhale, cow pose, lift the chest, soften the belly, lift the gaze. You want to lift a little bit more through the chest, there you go, and then soften here. Yes, exhale, cat pose, press up, shoulder blades up, mm -hmm. and keep the hips over the heels, hips over the knees, there you go. Let's do one more, inhale, cow pose, lift the chest, exhale, cat pose, shoulder blades, round them up. We're going to take it to our tabletop. From our tabletop, we're going to move the hands, one handprint out in front. So move the handprint out in front, and we're going to move into a downward facing dog. So curling the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good. Making sure your feet are hip distance apart, pedaling it out. So just moving the heels side to side, pedaling it out. There you go. Waking up the back of the legs. Mm -hmm. Good. Now from our downward facing dog, we're going to bend the knees and walk the feet behind the hands into a forward fold. Forward fold. Hip distance apart. Grabbing opposite elbows. Shake out the tension out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we'll go ahead and Bend the knees, release the fingertips to the ground, heel toe the feet together, bringing them feet together, and then roll it up, chin to chest, roll it up all the way into a standing posture. Mm -hmm. All the way into our Tadasana. Good. Shoulders up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. One more. Up, back, and down. Good. Now what you want to do is interlace the fingers behind you, squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Good. Find an inhale, lift the chest. On the exhale, hinge at the waist, forward fold, slight bend through the knees. So bending through the knees, good, gaze between the legs. Good, release the palms down to the ground. Walk it out, downward facing dog. Good. Full inhale, full exhale. So you want to make sure that the slight bend through the knees, lifting through the hips, and then pressing the arms into the ground. Good. Mm -hmm. Now. From our downward facing dog, we're going to bend, we're going to press into our plank pose. So top of a push-up, shoulders over the palms, 
and bring the feet back. So you might need to bring the feet back. Good. Top of a push-up, full inhale, full exhale. Now you want to make sure the gaze is downward so that the crown of the head is reaching forward. Good job. Let's inhale, shift weight forward onto the toes. Drop the knees to the mat. And child's pose. We'll shift the shoulders over the palms and lower all the way down. Belly and chest hit at the same time. Slide the feet together. Top of the feet press into the mat. Inhale, low cobra, no weight into the palms. Exhale, release. Let's do that again, this time making sure. So this is a common thing that we do in our cobra. So you want to make sure that you press your feet into the ground. And then when you bring the elbows, bringing them back. And no weight into the palms so that you press the hips down and lift through the chest. So no weight into the palms. There you go. Inhale, low cobra. Awesome. Looks great. Exhale, release. Press back, child's pose. Knees wide, hips over the heels. Now from our child's pose, let's move into our downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, let's bend the knees, walk the feet behind the hands, forward fold. Good, grabbing opposite elbows. Very nice. And then we'll release the fingertips to the ground, bend the knees. We're going to take the right foot and step it back to high lunge. Mm -hmm. Pressing through the left foot. Bring your hands to the hips and stack it up, shoulders over the hips. Good. Now, from here, we're going to bring the palms up, high lunge. Reach the fingertips to the sky, deep inhale, full exhale. Palms face each other. Good. Now you're going to spin that right foot down and open up warrior two. Right foot down, open up warrior two. Good. Gaze over the left fingertips. So we want to look over your left fingertips. There you go. And then pressing through the pinky edge. So in our warrior two, we want to make sure that you're pressing the back leg. Mm -hmm. Good. And then the left knee is over the ankle, aligned with the second toe. Good. Now as you send the gaze over in your warrior two, you're breathing here, finding that strength, that connection. So warrior two, we use all the muscles in the body. And the connection to our mind and to the body. So those deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Now, making sure that the back hand is in alignment with the left. Good. Looks good. Breathe in here. Full inhale. Full exhale. Making sure you're engaging through the core. So making sure that you're drawing the navel in. And the gaze over the left fingertips, finding. And the reason why the gaze is to find that concentration, that connection to you, that inner warrior, that connection to that inner strength. So that strength comes from the inside out. Your mind wants to move out of the pose before your body's ready to. So the warriors really help find that edge of your practice, that you are stronger. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Very nice. Now we're going to move into reverse warrior. So dropping the back hand down, reaching the top hand up to the sky. Good. Now as you reach up into that more reverse warrior, you want to reach back, keep the palms extended. Good. Inhale, gaze up, and exhale, part with the hands down to the mat. Step it back, half of the push up, plank pulse. Good. Plank pose. Inhale. Shift forward. Exhale. Lower all the way down. Slide the feet together. Top of the feet press into the mat. Inhale. Low cobra. Lift the chest. Exhale. Release. Press back. Child's pose. Knees wide. Hips over the heels. Full inhale. Full exhale. Move into downward facing dog. Shift the shoulders over the palms, curl the toes, lift the hips up and back, down up. Bend the knees, walk the feet behind the hands, forward fold. Heel toe the feet together. Okay. Now bend the knees all the way down, fingertips all the way down to the ground. Step the left foot back, high lunge. 
left foot back. Okay, bend the knees, take it all the way. Instead of trying to get ahead, we're going to take it into your high lunge. So make sure the right foot, press it down, hands to the hips, bring it back. So left heel is lifted. Let's go ahead and step this foot forward a little bit. Uh -huh. And then straighten up. Now keep the heel lifted. Uh -huh. And press the hand. Now bring the palms up. Reach the fingertips up. Mm -hmm. Palms face each other. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Good. Now we'll spin that back foot down and open up warrior two. Mm -hmm. So now that you know where we, we were going, you're trying to get ahead. We want to make sure that we stay with the practice. Okay? So we're actually bring this foot forward just a little bit more. So this is something that's common with these short guard yoke or warrior two. We actually want to make sure that we uh, step into it. And then we'll send the gaze over that front arm. Yes? Make sure the knee is bent and extended. Good. So breathe in here, finding that strength, sending the gaze towards the stars there. Breathe in. Mm -hmm. Pressing through. So as soon as we open up the knees, one thing that happens is that front knee wants to buckle in. So you want to make sure that you're keeping it wide. There you go. Send the gaze and breathe in here. Another thing that happens in our warrior two is that our hips start dropping in outward. So we want to make sure that we engage the lower abdominals so we're not dropping into the lower back. Mm -hmm. And then a long line of energy across the shoulders. Okay? So something also that happens is the back arm tries to dip. So we want to make sure that it's a long line of energy. Looks great. Also reaching. So as the fingertips are reaching. Yes, when you reach, you engage. Can I try some slot? Yep. And now the same reaching to the back hand. So as if somebody, as if I'm in your living room, touching your hands and you finding that extension. Let's take one more deep inhale, full exhale. Good. Keep that back leg strong. Press into it. One more. Good. Deep inhale, full exhale. Connecting to that inner strength, that inner warrior. Bringing it out. Very nice. One more, full inhale, open up, exhale. Good, dropping the back hand, reverse the warrior, reverse the warrior. Drop back hand down, reverse the warrior, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Good, downward facing dog, top of a plank, push up. Good. Now drop the knees to the mat. Knees to the mat. Full inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. Press back, child's pose, knees wide. Mix over the heels. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good. Let's take it into our downward facing dog. Down dog, rock the feet behind the hands, forward fold. Heel toe the feet together. Good, now bend the knees all the way, release the fingertips to the ground. You're going to step the right foot back now. Spin the right foot down. So think of it like heel to heel alignment. Okay? Now you're going to bring your left hand to your hip, right hand to your hip, and press it up. So we're going to set up for warrior one. Mm -hmm. So warrior one, we're gonna draw the left foot back, right hip forward, press into my hand. There you go. Yeah. Stack the shoulders over the hips. Now I'll bring the palms up. Palms up to the sky. Reach them up. Arms face each other. Good. And then our warrior one, we want to draw those hips back. Good. Breathing into it. Yep. Now as if we're reaching the fingertips to the sky, mm -hmm. and now draw the ribs in towards each other. Good. Breathe in, in, full inhale, full exhale. So warrior one, we're working on stability, balance, working all the muscles, and I'll actually do the core as well because we're engaging here to support towards the top of the body. Good. Deep 
Deep inhale through the nose. One more exhale. Good. Let's bring the palms together down to the heart space. Good. Deep inhale. Full exhale. So from our warrior one, we're going to press into a warrior three. So sending your gaze to the top of the mat, drawing the abdominals in, hinge forward, and press up. Warrior three. Breathe in. Full inhale. Full exhale. We'll step the right foot back. High lunge. Inhale, palms up to the sky. Exhale, down to the ground. Step back. Downward facing dog. Good. Down dog. Shift the shoulders over the palms. Drop the knees to the mat. Drop the knees. And then lower all the way down. Hug the elbows by your side. Good. Slide the feet together. Inhale, low cobra. Lift the chest. Exhale, release. Make sure you're pressing through the feet. Now we're going to take a high cobra. So straighten out the arms. Inhale, cobra. So straighten out the arms. So make sure the palms are to the ground. Lower all the way down. So, cobra is when your arms are straight and your hips are to the ground. So plant your palms into the ground. Palms into the ground like a cobra. Now just straighten out the arms. Straighten out the arms all the way. There you go. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Good. We'll lower all the way down. Press it back, child's pose, knees back. Shift the shoulders over the palms, curl the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing back. Good. Walk the feet behind the hands, forward fold. Releasing the fingertips down to the ground. Gonna step the left foot back. Left foot back, step it back. Mm -hmm. Now spin that left foot down so you feel to heel alignment. Bring your hands to the hips and then we'll press it up. Warrior one. Mm -hmm. So you bring this toe forward a little bit more. There you go. Draw left hip forward, right hip back. So left hip forward, right hip back. And press my knee. There you go. Mm -hmm. Engaging through the abdominals, drawing the ribs in. Bring the palms up. Warrior one. So feeling the stability of the ground, reaching up all the way. So press my hands, there you go. Full breath in, full breath up. Good, and we're working the wrist over the elbows, the elbows over the shoulders, the shoulders over the hips. Now making sure that we don't scoop up the lower back, so we're going to draw the navel in, so draw the ribs in, there you go. Full inhale, full exhale. Let's bring the palms down to the heart center. Good. We're getting ready for that warrior three. So find an inhale. Exhale, hinge at the waist, reach forward and press up. Warrior three. Good. And that floating leg, we're going to reach it up. Now press in my hands. Press in my hands, reach it back. Reach it back. It's okay. We fall out of our balance and poses. That's okay. So as you hinge forward, warrior three, and then float that back leg. Try to teach. Touch the back wall. Full breath in. Full breath up. There you go. Now we'll step it back. Reach the palms down to the ground. And we'll take it into our child's pose. Three full breaths. And this is a practice that you can build on. Um, taking longer breaths, holding, moving. And like I said, if you come out of it, you go right back into it. But really finding that finesse into your warriors to uh, hold the poses, to breathe into the poses, and to be present. That's what it comes down to. Yoga is the undisturbed concentration of the mind and the connection to your warrior, to your inner warrior compassion. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.